To start my snowman's top hat, I first need to write my what? My name. Then I'm going to pick two lines and I'm going to draw them horizontally across the top part of my hat. So maybe I pick zigzag, up, down, up, down, and wavy, up and down smooth. So that I now have one, two, three, four sections that I can draw shapes in. And I want to do shape patterns. So I could pick two shapes to start with. Maybe I do circle, triangle, circle, and then what? Triangle. So that's called an AB pattern. Circle, triangle, circle, triangle. I could also do that with three different shapes. Um, I think on the top part I'm going to stick with two. So I'm going to pick another two shapes to make a pattern with. So I could do heart, square, heart, square. And then I'm going to do two different ones for these spaces. Okay, and once I've got my shape patterns drawn in pencil, I'm now going to color them in with markers. I want to do my shapes first and my stripes second. So you're going to pick a color, and we always want to trace it first. So I'm going to trace on my pencil line and then color in. And do I want to go scribbly or slow? Nice and slow. And I don't want to leave any white in there. I want to fill it all the way in. And if I want to keep my pattern going, I can do my other one, orange too, before I pick my new color. And when I'm done with each marker, I want to hear a click. All right, so I'm going to finish coloring in my shapes, and then we'll look at doing the stripes. All right, once you've got your shapes colored in, you're now going to pick one, two, three, four different colors for the stripes on your hat. So if I want to stick with this turquoise color I used down here and do that at the top, on my first stripe, I'm going to trace the outline of it. And then I'm going to trace around my shapes, but I'm not going to go on my shapes because those are already a different color. So again, I traced around the stripe and now I'm tracing around the shapes so that I can then easily color the rest of this stripe with my turquoise. And I want to make sure I pick a different color than what my shapes are so that they don't blend in. And now I can fill in the rest of the white on this first stripe. And I'm then going to pick a different color for each stripe.
All right, should we skip ahead and see how it looks when I'm all done? Now that I'm done coloring in my pattern top hat, I am ready next week to add this to the snowman we're going to make. Let's get started.